Hi everyone, it's Bobby at the Paper Jungle. I have a real pretty card for you today. It's real easy to do and all this coloring is done with Q-tips. It was so much fun to do. Um, I embossed it with clear embossing and black ink on vellum and then I cut around it and I placed it in the top upper corner. But of course you can you could put your cinnamon here and you could put this right on your background however you want to do it. But I just wanted to basically show you the technique because it was real quick to do and it was a lot of fun. I don't think you can do it with white or clear because uh, the embossing would pick up the color of your ink pads. But it works fine with the black. So um, the technique is really easy to do. I've got uh, mint macaron for the leaves and I have crushed curry, calypso coral, and marina mist for the flowers. So it's just real easy to do. You just need some q-tips and you want to use a different tip for each color. And you just lightly go in each flower and you go right over the embossing. That's why it would be difficult to do it with the um, white or the clear because it would probably, I'm not sure, but probably pick up some color. So when you color these just go over the entire flower with your Q-tip and just give it a base coat and then go back in <coughs> where you think it would be darkest and just add some color in there and just kind of dab it in there it's kind of, let me see if I can put a sticky note or something under because this is white on white and it's hard for you to see there, that'll help maybe. Get it to lay down here. And just dab your colors in there. It was a lot of fun to do. Something different, you know, you get tired of doing the same thing all the time. Even though I love making cards and creating things, it's nice to have something different to, you know, a little diversion. So there's the blue, and you can always, after it's good and dry, you can always go back in and add more color if you want. Might be better if I had more neutral color, but I don't have a lot of things in here. Uh, let's try the uh, Calypso Coral is what I had. And we'll do this one. And then for the centers, you can put any color in there you want to. I let it dry real good before I went back and put any colors in so that they didn't muddy up and I just used a real pale neutral color because you've got the embossing around it which really defines the center part. I think they call it the calyx or calyx or something like that. And it dries pretty quick. It doesn't take too terribly long. just go back and add some darker color in there. Okay. And then we'll do the yellow. Actually, let's do it. I've got a small one over here. Let's go ahead and do it in the... Well, I don't have real good coverage on that. I can tell once I get it on the white. I should have left it on the white. I can see what I'm doing better. I'll go back and touch that up some. There. Let me go back to this red one. Yeah, I just don't know. The red is covering as good or the as I wanted it to. 
I'm going to add a little bit more color to it. There, that's helping a lot. You just needed a second coat after it dried. Yeah, that's better. Put a little bit more down here. Yeah, okay. Now we'll go for the crushed curry. I've still got blue in my fingers from the previous card I did. Okay, we're going to put the yellow in. The lighter colors cover better. Or cover easier. You have to work a little more on the darker colors. A second or a third coat to... Because you'll find some little streaks in them, but it's not bad. It just takes a little bit more work. So there's the yellow one. And I'll have a picture of this, this one that I'm doing now on the web page with the other sh sample that I already showed you uh, once I get it mounted on card, but I'll have to wait for it to to dry a little bit. I'm having trouble holding on to it. Okay. Now for the leaves. We'll put just a hint of blue down the center of each leaf, just like so. Just gives it a little bit more depth. That one there is too tiny for any blue. Okay, now we need the marina mist. Let me close this one while I'm at it. Go re ink some stamp pads. Okay, we'll just put the marina mist around the edges of the blue. It just gives it a little more interest. And then we've got a couple over here. I'm trying not to touch it with my stained fingers so I don't run it. After you get so much done, you don't want to run the darn thing. And I have done that before. Okay, let's see if we can go back to the yellow and maybe catch up the centers. It might be a little bit soon. We'll check and see where was my... There's my yellow. I think I might have to put some more in the Melon Mambo. I'm almost certain. Yeah, it's going to take the yellow. Okay. And for the yellow one, we'll put some Melon Mambo in the center. And that would be here. There we go. Okay. So I will have that on my website for you when it's completed. When I get it on a card. Once it's dry. But it'll be similar to this one. I'll have both of them posted on the website. This one just says, I love you. And on the inside it says, I think it more often than I say it, but I just want to make sure you know it. And I thought that was a real pretty verse. That, um... What stamp set was that? I thought I brought it. Wait a minute. Okay, the flowers. Um, I don't have that one with me. The verse came off of Flourishing Phrases. 
the I love you and I think it down here and then I'll have all the supplies listed on the website for you and I also wanted to tell you on a video I did a few days ago um, I offered a giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers and I showed you this uh, book Paisley and Posey journal that had a lot of verses and um, coloring pages in it and I was able to get two more copies so I now have three of them to give away so if you haven't already subscribed be sure that you do that and then I'll be drawing a name when I get to a thousand and I'll mail out these three journals okay thanks a lot guys I will see you soon bye